I'm Polly Tobias, a sophomore at Northern High School, and I'm here with Letitia McLaughlin, who's studying to be an astrophysicist at NC State. Um, why did you decide to become an astronomer? I decided to become an astronomer when I was in seventh grade, and my mother brought me, bought me my first telescope. It wasn't much, it was very tiny, but just that opened the door and got me interested in astronomy. Mm -hmm. And after that, I you know, decided to pursue it and read lots of books about it, and then I decided that's what I loved and enjoyed. How would you describe what you do as an astronomer? As an astronomer, I use telescopes and binoculars and even the naked eye to look up into the sky and observe things like the stars, the position of the stars, the planets whenever they're out throughout the year, and also other things like galaxies and such that I can see. Wow. As a young girl, what were your favorite subject in school and why? Surprisingly, in high school, my favorite subject was biology. But whenever I got to college, I decided that I really love math and I really love science. So I combined the two and I got physics. And that's why now I use physics to explain the universe in astronomy. Oh. In high school, what helped you prepare for college and attaining your degree? Um, in high school, I wasn't decided about my major. I knew that I loved science and I knew that I loved math. So I just did my best. I wasn't the best athlete, nor was I the top of the class. But I did my best and that hard work helped me to prepare for everything that I would endure in college. Yeah. What are you most interested in in astronomy? In astronomy, I'm actually going to go into research with supernova remnants and things of that nature. So what is the supernova remnants composed of? What is the nature of after a star explodes and becomes a supernova, what does it become? Mm -hmm. How did you make your decision about which college to attend? And what were your choices? Uh, how did you get the money to go to college? Well, I definitely knew at that point that I wanted to pursue a science, and so I found a university that had a big concentration in science. My two top choices were UNC Wilmington and also NC State University. Um, I decided to attend UNC Wilmington first because of the small class size. And once I got my graduate degree, I decided to keep my education in the state, and so I went to North Carolina State University. As a college student, did you ever feel unable to compete with male students pursuing the same degree? Um, not at all, not at all. In physics, there is a large number of male students compared to female students. But I think because of that, female students are more welcomed. And it's, it makes no difference as far as um, learning is concerned, whether you're male or female. For college and attaining your degree. In high school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew that I liked math and science, but I hadn't pinpointed it to a major. So I just did my best. I wasn't the best athlete, nor was I top of the class, but I did my best in every subject, and that prepared me for the hard work that I would have to do in college. What advice can you give young girls who strive to become scientists? My advice to young girls who strive to become scientists is to be persistent. Science is not an easy subject, and um, so study hard, but at the same time, make sure you give yourself lots of breaks. You don't want to become too focused so that you burn out easily. Okay. Could you tell me a bit about the d demonstration you're about to perform? Mm -hmm. um, being an astronomer, we study lots of things, and one of those is comets. And I've noticed whenever I talk with people that lots of people have a misconception about the composition of comets. So today I'm going to actually make a comet so that we can see exactly what it's made of. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm.